Hi guys and welcome back to the AutoHotKey tutorials for beginners. We are gonna just simply go ahead and continue with the loop commands, in this case with the parse subcommand. The uh, parse subcommand allows you to grab a variable and display the contents of that variable, uh, well actually separate the contents uh, of that variable based on a specific delimiter. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead with a with a real life example. I'm not sure if you are aware of this particular pseudo format um, called CSV, which is um, comma separated values. So what that means is that you can have you can store information, uh, tons of information separated by commas and then you can do different stuff with it like let me show you it is easier <laughs> showing than explaining so let's have a variable called variable doesn't matter and then let's grab and put three words on it now here we have a comma separated uh, value we have three words separated by commas stored into one variable now, what parsing allows us to do is to actually grab each of those words and separate them. Um, we just have to specify three things. First of well, in this particular case, four, because you're telling the loop that you're going to parse, but let's not, count, let's not count that. Um, we're going to put a comma here to put the next parameter. In this case, the next parameter is going to be the name of the variable that you want to parse. So we're going to put the name var. Um, very important, do not put percent signs around this one because what the command, the loop command is expecting in there is actually a name for a variable. It is not expecting any contents. So do not put percent signs around it. Now, as you can see, I'm uh, separating the, the parameters with commas. And that's uh, something very important now. If we have values separated with commas in there, I have to tell out a hotkey, well, separate them with commas. This parameter that I'm going to use now is the delimiter. I have to tell out a hotkey which delimiter I'm going to be using. As the comma has a special value, you have to actually escape it. I actually, I think I, I, I talked about it in a, in a previous video in which I was explaining how that auto hotkey sees some characters with special meanings. The comma is one of them. And escaping it with the backtick character what it does is that it tells other hotkey to use it as literal uh, character in this case I'm telling other hotkey use a comma in there do not actually expect another parameter so um, the backtick is that particular uh, key that is right next to the one on the top of your keyboard on the left number one to the left there's another key that's the backtick if you're using the English keyword shouldn't be hard to find. You can use it to escape the character, uh, the comma in this particular case. Now there's a, th uh, a third parameter, well actually a fourth parameter. We have fourth, parse, var, the comma. And now the fourth parameter is the omit characters. Um, if, you're, if your values, for example, in here, number two has two spaces in here, you and you do not want those spaces, well, you can tell auto hotkey omit the spaces. You can just simply say a space, which is a variable that contains a blank space. And uh, you're telling auto hotkey, the last parameter tells auto hotkey omit those characters. You can do that. You can also omit tabs and stuff like that. In this particular case, would omit the space and the tabs and so on. It will omit it from the beginning and the end of the variable, not in between. So if you have a if you have a space in here, it that particular space is going to be preserved. The other two are going to be lost. But um, that last parameter, we don't use it that much. There are special cases where you would want to use that, but in this particular case, we don't need it. So we just need the loop command, of course, because we're talking about loops. The parse subcommand. I'm telling the loop that we're going to be parsing a variable. The variable of the na the name of the variable, sorry, <laughs> the other way around, and um, what character am I using as a delimiter? So in this case, it is a comma. We have to escape it. And what are we gonna do? Well, there's a very cool variable when you're parsing. This only uh, this this uh, variable is only there there when you're parsing. Um, 
and it is called a loop field. At the beginning, you will not get <laughs> get it that easily, but then when you put a meaning onto it, like it is one of the fields. Just think of this as a field, and this another field, and this is another field, and of course we're in a loop, so it is a loop field. When you have that meaning, it would be easier to remember. So basically, we're just simply going to print it out on the screen. Basically, what is going to happen is exactly what, you, what you're going to be expecting. And when you run this code, you're going to get a message box with the first field, which is one. The comma is not going to show up, obviously, because that's the one that we are using to separate these things. And number two and number three very easy that's what parsing is and this <laughs> this should already give you a ton of ideas that you can do um if it if it hasn't uh, i'm sorry but this when i when i heard about parsing a variable the first time i got so many cool ideas i'm going to show you one of them um usually let's say that you want to click on several places on your screen well you can do the obvious thing like go like this say well click 300 400 then click 200 100 and you can put as many as you want that my friend is time consuming and yeah you would say well obviously when you're repeating a command it is very nice to say loop and then you say click but here's the problem the the locations vary well there you go very it varies so you need a variable for that then you grab a variable and you say coordinates for example and then you say for example 300 by 200 200 by 100 400 500 i don't know whatever you want but as you can see i'm actually separate separating the coordinates with a pipe and then you can just simply say uh, yeah let's put another one in here so here you can just simply say click a, a loop field and that's it basically <laughs> you saved yourself one two three four lines of code um, that you would have to put them one below the other and actually in this particular case you would say well four lines of code w uh, versus three well it's not that much of a difference well let me give you a real life example this is a GUI that I was making a while ago and I had to click in a lot of places <laughs> as you can see so basically I just put them all the coordinates in one particular variable and then I just simply started clicking on all of them um you can just simply put all of this in one line i just made it like this for readability for myself but actually all of this could just be one line and then you will see the saving you would say well yeah i saved a bunch of lines of code in my case sometimes i just like it to be more readable so basically parsing variables is something that um is very powerful will allow you to do very very cool stuff and um, it is very simple I just showed you how to parse a variable it can be any character that is something that you have to keep in mind for example if you want to change this for an A then you just have to put it in here you just simply have to say each A uh, just parse with the A's for example and it's gonna be the same and um, you have also the option of not specifying uh, a delimiter character or omit characters. You just simply say parse and then you say a variable uh, name. What is gonna happen is that instead of parsing uh, words or something, it is just gonna start parsing uh, by letters. So in this case, you will see the letter O, the N, the E separated like this. So basically, um, this is um something very nice to keep in mind then that you can just simply have a variable with numbers for example and then you say loop parse the variable and it is going to give you the numbers from one to nine 
very easy to but you might have figured out already that you cannot have um, when you're not specifying a delimiter you cannot have words or two letters or something like that you if, if you want 12 for example you would have to put a delimiter in there 34 56 789 for example um oh sorry of course I forgot the obvious which is telling out a hotkey please use the pipe as a delimiter and then you will get you know two digits and stuff if you do not put the delimiter then it is gonna just simply parse it by one one uh, character at a time so with this I'm gonna be finishing this particular uh, video about parsing and one little thing before I go as I mentioned in the previous video the the everything that all the variables that I showed before and the two commands like break and continue apply in here so you can just simply say for example if a loop field equals 56 then you can say break if not else then message box a loop field so basically we're gonna get 12 34 and in this case nothing else because we said that if it is 56 we break again um, everything applies as before the break the continue the a index all of those things are um, common to all uh, loops and um, the next video I'm just simply gonna go ahead and check the um, file parsing loops those are very fun so until the next video we see each other